Welcome to Adopt and Close, and thank you for deciding to watch this video. Um, with the new generation and the old generation questions being in one exams, prepare yourself a way to answer pharmacology questions. I know people are worried about pharmacology. It's a way you to answer questions in pharmacology. So the best way to study pharmacology is by paying attention to buzzwords for each medication that you have. This is a question. Expect a question like that, a case form pharmacology. It will be a standalone question where you have to apply your pharmacological thinking and critical thinking. So, and I'm going to show you all the buzzwords. Age is always important. A 60 year old female present to the emergency room. This is a buzzword, it's emergency with intractable nausea. So that's another buzzword. For three days, been vomiting for three days after chemotherapy induction. This is in a distractor. It's not going to help you make any diagnosis. She report of non bilious emesis buzzword. That means there's no obstruction that is causing the, the vomiting and has not been able to take any solid food. Tell you the PO has decreased. It's a buzzword. She has been on clear liquid diet. I suspected. She tried some crackers and ginger with that sauces. No sick contact. This is very important. So nobody is sick. No recent travel. In physical exams, Mickey's memory is dry and capillary refill greater than three seconds. That's he telling you that patient is dehydrated. So I came in because I'm vomiting for three days, right? And uh, the vomit is non bilious. And I don't be able to eat anything. Those are all the key bowels ways. Patient is a febrile but tachycardia, consistent with the dehydration. Breath pressure is low, consistent with the dehydration. This is how you analyze the case. What happened? Two liters of lactate ringer was given, and patient was given a dancitron. That's words. Then six hours later, the vital is normalized, and she was discharged on with what? A dancitron. I've not asked you a question. All you have to do, analyze it. There's a bunch of keywords I've shown you in the case, and then you know that patient has been prescribed or dancing drug. So I've treated the problem. Now your focus should shift. Patient came with nausea, vomiting, due to chemotherapy induction, look dehydrated, we give the patient fluid and give you a dancing drug. Okay, so what is the question? One week later, one week later, she presents with what? Drowsiness, buzzwords, headache, buzzwords, excessive blinking of the eye, buzzwords, and tongue protrusion, buzzwords. These are all signs you should know. They are buzzwords. When you hear it, you know that this is a side effect of. Or dancing John, basically, I've given you the side effects of the dancing John. What does it tell you? All these things are expected finding of a dancing John, expected finding of a dancing John, expected finding of a dancing John, and talk protrusion, expected finding when they have toxicity of uh, a dancing John. So there's overdose or toxicity of a dancing John that they becoming drowsy, headache. Excessive blinking and tongue protrusion all are side effects. That should tell you. The tongue protrusion and blinking are extra pyramidal side effects. So you should be worried about this patient. It's getting toxicity. What would you do? Which of the following is indicated? Select or apply. You pick those you confidence. So this will be plus minus one um, point. If you know what is going on, you should be able to pick the right answer. You can select all because then you lose a point or you get zero for that question. What are the signs and symptoms of a dancing job? I've given you all of them. But what should you worry about this medication? Now, I've given you all the side effects that you should think about, except one that you should know about this medication. So which is indicated? We need to stop the medication. There's no need to check CVC. It does not affect CVC. It, it has central acting effect, which is extra pyramidal side effect, 
which is TD, tardic dyskinesia, akitisia, okay, acute dystonia. All these are extra pyramidal side effects. In addition to drowsy, because he act on the brain, because his headache, because he act on the brain. But then there's one serious complication is QT prolongation. QT prolongation. So you have to watch for this. You don't need to check CBC. If you give the patient methocropamide, this is another anti emetic. This also has extra pyramidal side effect, and it will worsen the excessive blinking or the tongue protrusion. So we should not do that. EKG start, QT prolongation, keywords. Cardiac monitoring, QT prolongation, passwords. IV bullets, I don't give you any vitals. It's not indicated. There's no any evidence of she throwing up. All she care about drowsiness, headache, excessive blinking, and tongue. Does it still of a QT, um, you know, dancing drum. The most important issue you have to worry about is KT prolongation. Those are the side effects you should know about this medication. Extra pyramidal side effect and QT prolongation. And among the extra pyramidal side effects, which are called the ADAPT, where A is acute dystonia, akitesia, tachycinism, and tardic dyskinesia. This is very important, the TD, tardic dyskinesia. So for this patient, select or apply, there's three answers there. If you pick five, you get zero. You pick those you're confident. If you know only one, you want to pick this, then you pick one, you get one out of three. So pick the one you're more confident, not everything, okay? So that's that question from on the anchors. Second question, a 35 year old female presented to the PCM with complaint of what? Yes, buzzwords and buzzwords, fingers. When you're describing location, you have to pay attention. Turning what? Description, blue, when patient is what? Anxious and taking hot shot. I put all the buzzwords in the first two sentences. Pain, ear, arms, fingers, and turning blue and anxious when taking hot shower. Extreme temperature. So this is extreme temperature. Symptoms also waxing with cold. In the winter, extreme temperature. You should be thinking about it. Wearing gloves help a lot. Treatment, bears, buzzwords. She has noticed that drinking caffeine in the morning makes her symptoms worse. Coffee is a bad word. Coffee will make the symptoms worse. Virus is normal. Exams was also normal. And as a history of anxiety, distractor. This is not anxiety disorder. So this is a distractor. The bad word, your ears, your hands, your fingers, are turning blue when you are anxious or taking hot shower. Right? When you wear gloves, it gets better. Good. When you take caffeine, it gets worse. Your exams is completely normal. You have issues as anxiety, it's a distractor. So what do you think is going on? I've given you enough information to make a diagnosis. This is going to help you do a case uh, evaluation in the end, next generation in any pharmacology to start thinking about it. So this is what we call renoids. Phenomenal. They have vessel spasm of the hand vessels, so that blood flow goes and uh, decreases when you're exposed to extreme temperature, cold, extreme cold, and hot. So you tell them not to do that. Okay, gloves when you cold outside. Okay, avoid caffeine is very good. Decrease your stress level. Okay, and then you treat them. What do you want to do? This is the vessel supplying the hand and you go into spasm. When you go into spasm, blood flow decreases. I need to open the vessel to allow blood to flow. The muscle here, muscle here need to be relaxed. Which medication can relax this muscle and help with that? And help the vessels to dilate, yes. 
glutamine versus vasoconstrictor. We want vasodilator. Pseudoephedrine. You see what I'm doing? This is how you answer pharmacology question. It's a selected apply. You pick those you think you know. And no pseudoephedrine is what? Vaso what? Constrictor. I'm not going to use it. Tassium channel blocker. Yeah, delta enzyme cream is a vasodilator. Nitro cream is a veno dilator. Veno vein. Phenylephedrine is a vasoconstrictor. So the right answer is delta enzyme cream. Somebody will say, well, you can use nitro. Nitro is more effective on the vein, not the actual arterial. This one, we want blood supply to go to the extremities. So we want something that can affect the artery too. So the, there's only one answer choice here. If you pick more than one, you get zero. This is what you should be doing with pharmacology. Diagnosis by finding cues and bars raising the question and answer the side effect. It'll give you side effect, and you know the side effect. You should be able to go back and find the medication that is causing that side effect. So start doing that. Side effect, and then which medication causing Medication and the side effect in the case form, no matter what. So take care of yourself and expect more of this. Subscribe for more um, farm on anklets in the next future. Take care and have a good day.